Hi everybody, welcome back to Miguel Climbs. This video is going to be a compilation of some warm-up climbs at the Yoso popular Monkey Bar Boulder at Red Rock. This was filmed on the same day that I filmed my last video, which if you haven't seen, definitely give that one a go. But there will be no hard climbing in here. We're not doing the eight line. There's going to be a lot of twos and threes. We try a hyperglide this day. But one, I just wanted to practice my voiceover. And two, I thought maybe somebody might find this useful if you come to Red Rock. So here my boy Kaz is nearing the crux of the V2 line doing that right hand bump, which is funny because this wasn't even his first go. He actually flashed this boulder earlier in the day and I managed to just record the top out of that. Booyah. Pretty Beautiful. sick. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this video run kind of uncut. I had my gimbal this day with a wide angle lens. You get to see close-ups of these holds, where the feet go, etc. So yeah, I'm just gonna be quiet and if I need to chime in, I'll chime in. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> wow. This orange outfit is like money on camera. Really? I yeah. thought it would be too much with this color rock. No. I asked uh, Mike to wear bright colors today. Oh, I got my yeah. blue. No, it looks awesome. Yeah, I haven't ever tried that before. Yeah, I'll try that for my right hand. Way to grab every wrong hold, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, what? Shut up, I did not. Different beta here. If you saw the last vid, then you know who this is. This is Mike Doyle. Look him up. <laughs> Super cool dude. Very knowledgeable climber and very strong. And here you see him. Uh, warming up on the V6 line that goes on the right and side of the boulder. And yeah. there's no send on so this go, so left don't left judge. Left. But I just kind of want to show the different angles of this boulder, because a lot of times the tripod just doesn't tell the whole story. Okay, but here is some send footy of the V6. This is our friend Patrick Olson. And this next move here is actually the crux, going out left to that tiny Good. crimp, bringing a right foot up, and then crossing right. I had a lot of trouble with this move yeah, last season. Right. Finally got it after a couple of goes. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn it! But I'm sorry that my camera's a little shaky here. I think the gimbal was not stabilized properly. I hate it when the spotter gets in the way. Yeah. That swing was too intense on his part. Dude, I've been trying this thing for like years, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you, man. I'll sign your scorecard. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. I'm just going to label this beta for every monkey bar boulder climb. Nice send, Mike. Oh, thanks. That one's never felt easy. Yeah. Come on, dude. Bar that shit. Nice. So I had never seen this climb at monkey bar boulder. Patrick told me it was a V3. I don't even know what it was called, but that knee bar in there looked so sick. This left hand that he's on looked a little sketch. It was <laughs> kind of pockety, but yeah, I definitely wanted to try this after seeing Patrick try it. It just looked yeah. super awesome, and I never see anybody do it. Every hole in Red Rock, pretty much. Pat, that was sick, dude. Knee bar, bro. Yeah. Gratuitous. Are do that, Miguel? I guess I'll give it a go. That was selfish. <laughs> These are some very nice underclings. There's like a little lip on them. But the knee bar was super uncomfortable. I didn't know where to put my right foot. And I couldn't quite lock it in <laughs> to cross over with that left hand. Push your hips up with your right foot. Yep, keep pushing. And then just lead up. <laughs> it's not going. Just go grab it first and then Honestly, chuck the knees. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 
For being his first day outdoor climbing, my buddy Cass here actually looks quite comfortable on the rock. But these jugs are super awesome. You can see them from all these different angles here. And that undercling again is money, but you could see the knee bar from a different angle here, how hard it is to get in. I'm going for speed. Okay. So you gotta be able to keep up with me, Mike. <laughs> so what did I do for my next go? I decided to skip the knee bar, of course. I had the height to keep feet down low, but you did have to pull really hard on that right bicep to get that cross move to work. The left hand crimp is good, and there's a nice little match action there. Um, I didn't know what to expect from the next hold, but again, it's good if you have the feet in the right spot. But the left pocket kind of threw me by surprise. It was very sandy in there. Whoa. Slow B. I almost fell off of that thing. What if I get it? Just take the camera. But yeah, overall, very happy to top this one out. Sorry for this gimbal work. This was Mike Doyle <laughs> using. The gimbal for the first time. Nice try, Mike, but we'll get you uh, some right. more practice later. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. 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 All right, here's Kaz giving the knee bar one more go. And after this, I'm just going to close the video out with Hyperglide V5, probably the <laughs> hardest climb on this boulder. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, extra footage that I had left over. And as always, climb, send, subscribe. <laughs> Still getting used to saying that one. And stay tuned after Patrick's send here to see Mike Doyle <laughs> eat it on the crash pad. But then I think he eventually sends it. So anyway, super fun climbing with these people this day. And I hope you got some use out of this video. I will see you guys later. Yeah, you could there. just fall from there. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, the top's the best part. Is it Chelsea? So Chelsea. But it is part of it. Yeah. You just gotta climb slow. Hey, good morning. <laughs> oh, this moves so hard. That's gonna be enough for you, dog. Both did it on the same day. It's that little round hold that's yeah. I mean, it's the one hold up there, dude. Yeah. Oh, Mike! That hand. At least the pads are in the right spot. Yeah, I was gonna say. So if you actually just pass someone that hit their head, they're... Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that first started. You were more psyched then. Yeah, it was. That foot pedal, the pedal was there, though. I think that yeah. thing... Yeah, I think that I think somebody came out here when it was still wet yeah. and broke that fucker. Oh, my. Oh, my. Nice, Mike. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Have like some kind of link for like video actually. Good. Nice, dude. In the process where they're like, you're on your own. Yeah. And I'd be adding like the supplemental. Right there. Well, it's kind of it's a professional split level. Yeah. You want index finger here, but fingers deep. Got it. So this is an index tick. Okay. You can't see it because it'll have to be on the ridge. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's some professional ticking. <laughs> hey. So I was. You asked me to tick. I'm gonna tick. <laughs> How long ago did it rain? <laughs> this is in the sun all day, right? Yeah. yeah. Rain. What? Three days ago? Four days ago? Three. Three. Like, what do we even do if he falls from here? Do you don't do it. You, you call 911. No, I'm not doing shit. You just want to make sure he doesn't fall backwards, but yeah. he's hitting the ground before I'm touching him. Okay. Yeah, you want to make sure they hit and then keep them from, like, tumbling or rolling. Oh, 